Good day everybody, Bengal Latinji here. Let's quickly talk about history of audit. The history of audit. It may be interesting for somebody to know that audit is almost as old as humanity and is one of the earliest profession dated back to ages is is as old as we can say as humanity all the actually is dated back to the agrarian age when all the profession we have in the world is all about agriculture so unlike today the when we hear somebody is an auditor, what first comes to mind is okay, maybe the person is an accountant, the person is a financial person, or the like. But it's interesting to know that audit is actually coming from the background of agriculture. Audit is actually coming from the background of agriculture and uh -huh. Today, audit has its branches almost every sphere of life. So when we are talking about an auditor, an auditor does not necessarily mean somebody that is financial literate. Not necessary. But an auditor must have some character that actually qualifies him or her to be an auditor. So, who is an auditor? An auditor basically is an intermediary. An auditor is an intermediary. That is somebody that comes between two parties. And one of the character of an auditor is that he or she must be very objective, must be able to form his own independent opinion without biases, and that is one of the critical character that an auditor must have, not necessarily he or she being financial literate. So the history is actually about the tenant and the landlord the tenant and the landlord uh, in the olden days the kings possessed the land the kings possess the land and the tenants are the people the farmer the peasant farmer that worked in the farm just like we have currently in the world, the situation still exists even till now. Those that have the land, they do not work. Those that work, they do not have the land. So the king, the lords, they usually give their land to the farmers or the tenants to use. Um, pay or bring a royalty or bring back proceed at the end of the year to them they bring proceed back to the landowner which we call lord usually the kings and the like so but situations usually arise in which maybe for any reason like drought rain is not coming as it should be or the land is not as fertile as before and the yield or the harvest is not as expected and the tenants or the farmer takes the little proceed he or she could gather back to the landowner and the landowner was like no 
we agree you should give me so few baskets but you are giving me this few and the tenant is like please ask so the farmer this year's yield is not as before and the land is getting hold it's not as fertile as before but because the landowner doesn't go to work or farm they could not believe and the tenant and the landlord usually have issues of trust of reliability of information and the return of proceeds so because of this they say okay so how can we find solution to this let's look for a person that is trustworthy that is objective and that could be independent to come between us so that is our intermediary which we now have in the name of auditor come into business matter and protect the interest of first of all of the landlord and equally without bias of the tenant so audit basically is coming from the agricultural background i hope this helps somebody we'll see you next time please like us subscribe to us click the notification button so that you can continue to get notified when we release another talk